What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Isekaya Podcast. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Sren. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. Right, and next up, we have Ku. Howdy. And then we have Sasha. Konnichiwa. <laughs> and then today, making his podcast debut, we have Peter. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so for the past two episodes, we've been calling out Peter and just trying to stick with hearing our shit. So he's he's here to lay a smack on all of us. It was one piece knowledge. Right. Yep. That's right, bro. About to turn so, on my fifth gear. <laughs> it's right, called so, the stock little gear. So, <laughs> so this week, um we usually start with My Hero Academia, but it was actually delayed, so we're just gonna skip that for this week. And also, uh, just one quick note I want to make too: the Kona Suba movie is uh, coming out in NA in like in next week or whatever. So like nine days. Yeah. So we're at we're planning to go watch it uh, on the twelfth, and then the next episode that comes after that, we'll probably um, give our thoughts on on the movie as well. So we'll tell them about our seats, Peter or David. What? Tell them about our seats, David. What happened? <laughs> we're good. <laughs> We have good, we'll have good seats, all right? We'll, we'll talk mm. about that later when we, yes. when we get to experience the movie. Yes. The right. JC experience is the key word. Yes. Yes. JC Glory. Uh, so we're going to start off. Uh, well, actually, we're going to start off with One Piece. <laughs> um, so now that Peter's here, he's going to be our second resident One Piece fan. So we're going to leave this section mm. for uh, Peter and Sasha. I'll just discuss. I right, guess we'll start with Peter. Like, um, What do you think of the Wano arc so far? Wano arc. Probably one of the top three arcs, in my opinion, so far. Just in terms of anime quality, uh, storyline, emotion. Like, I don't know. I've teared up like probably three or four times already. <laughs> just from wait, watching wait, wait. every episode. <laughs> which which are these three or four times? Every time <laughs> Ace shows up. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're, you're attached to Ace. Hell yeah, dude. Does that not Do kill it. you? Like, just... Have that, I don't know, nostalgia when, uh, especially the well, it was a couple episode ago, ago, right when uh, Luffy basically had his firehawk and punched the guy in the oh, face. Oh yeah, yep. And then they, they kind of like imaged that with Ace, right? That was, that was emotional. What was her face? The little girl. She saw Ace. Tama. Yeah. Oh, Tama. Yeah. Tama. Right. Little Tama. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate they balls. said she was a Tama boy growing up, which is why so many people don't like her. <laughs> Still, yeah. I, I can see where you're getting though. Yeah, I I, it's, yeah. I can see the emotions are definitely there. I for me, I haven't teared up yet, uh, but I agree with with all those sentiments. Now, top three, what would you place ab- above it potentially? The top Which three. Arcs? Yeah, you're saying top three, bro. We gotta get specific here. Oh, um, well, definitely the um, the uh, the Sabo the the not. Well, I mean. The the one before the time skip. Which one was that again? The the, oh, the, the Sabadi or three, whatever it's called. The three year war or oh yeah, yeah, the Great War. The Great War, yeah, that one's top. I'd say top two. I don't know. Um, what about the, Water uh, Seven, man? What Water Seven and NA's lobby? I wasn't that. Wait, that wasn't are you serious? My favorite. I like the one with Robin. That one was really good. The Robin arc where uh, they had to save Chief. Robin. That's that's Water Seven in NA's lobby, man. I like how confident you were with that answer. Uh, I wasn't that impressed by it. I like the one where the exact same thing you're talking about happened. <laughs> 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 Bro, I, I was about to say, like, you're by far the, the bigger One Piece fan, but good golly. <laughs> yeah, right, I, don't, I don't keep track of the names, right? I honestly so don't one. either. So when I say Great War. <laughs> and then there's... and then the last one is obviously the uh the flamingo for me. Uh Dress Rosa. The, yeah, Dress Rosa one well I mean Dress Rosa was the entire arc where um Really, I only enjoyed the, uh, um, just the the arc with the um, the main fight scenes, I guess, essentially. Yeah, but it, it kind of got uh, when, a little bit yeah. drawn out, but I yeah. did like 
what's his face? The blind samurai guy who could who has gravity as one of his powers, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I really like that guy's character. That uh, what was his name? He was the the lieutenant, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. He was he was probably the most badass, the most um respectable navy officer. So I don't know. Uh Isho is his name. Isho. Isho, yeah. So I don't yeah. those Oh Fujitora. Fujitora. Yeah, that's, that's what right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's he a gangster, man. He's not gonna appear. I don't think he's gonna make a reappearance until later in the Wano arc. Um so yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. As a longtime One Piece reader and watcher, or viewer, I should say, excuse me. Um, how, what was your reaction? We were an entire arc removed from half of the crew, and now we've been reintroduced to Zoro. Uh, Law is back in the picture. We have yet to see some other cast members, but generally speaking, how did you feel when you got to see uh, part of the crew reunite? <laughs> I only care about Luffy, man. <laughs> That's oh, one piece fan you are. <laughs> All right, Zoro. This is the perfect arc for Zoro for one thing, because he's literally the only one that uses sword. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! By the way, Brook. <laughs> what? Well, Brook is not really a sword user. I mean, he uses his cane essentially, and then he has ice that shoots out of his fucking because he's a skull. But, but his cane, but is three a swords for his what? <laughs> But he's not really known for his sword. Like he's he's supposed to be the bard on the ship. He's not the the samurai, the the sword master on the ship, right? He's not the. All right. He's just. But the let me bard. ask you this: Can I see your panties? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> but I don't know. So this arc definitely excited for Zoro because this is going to highlight him the most. Um, on side note, it's pretty stupid how they give. Luffy a sword, but he still punches people. Uh, <laughs> Actually, like, I like it a lot. I like the fact too that Zoro keeps asking him, like, "Yo, let me check out the sword." And Luffy, yeah. like, ah, <laughs> yeah. it's okay, man. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just hoping so, something they're gonna use it for something later on. But a uh, question: the, um, the sword that he like won't let Zoro see is it special in any way? Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, supposed it to be like one of the what like twelve like lost swords of uh, the world, like with hidden yeah. powers or something. Or something so, like that. But. So it's, it's supposed to be really good, man. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Essentially. And he literally just stole it <laughs> from the one guy. Just took it. From this old man with a giant nose. You know those, uh, I forgot the specific name for it, but those masks that have the big noses and they're red. Oh, Tengu. Tengu. Tengu, yes. thank you. Yeah. yeah so but... he, he took it from this old man. And basically, Zoro can recognize the energy, or I guess, if you will, the soul of the sword. So Zoro's like, yo, Luffy, let me check that out, bro. And Luffy's yeah. like, nah, it's okay. <laughs> what an asshole. He doesn't even freaking use it. God, he still just runs around and punches people holding the sword. <laughs> it's so that's the what I love about Luffy. It's ever. his sword, dude. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's that's not even right. using it. Just give it to Zoro so he has his four swords and he just like gets even more nah, badass. Nah, nah. Or you could find your own sword and mind your own damn business. Hey, he yeah. has three swords. <laughs> <laughs> So let Zoro me ask you this: use more swords, all right? You can never how, have how could Zoro use swords. them? Where would he put? Yeah, it? I was gonna say, how's he gonna wield the four sword? Yeah, put it on his neck or something. <laughs> on his <laughs> neck. <laughs> Man, like, I don't know, between his chin. Like a necklace. <laughs> yeah, between his chin. He doesn't have an ass chin though. <laughs> how big is this sword? The regular size, uh, like uh, katana. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not gonna work as a necklace. Like smaller than you might have a cross. sword, but still pretty big. I don't know. But I don't okay. know. Yeah. Still excited for more Zoro action. It's been pretty pretty beastly so far. Like all the fight scenes with Zoro, it's it's lived up to par. But I agree. Now let me more, ask you, let's, let's flip the conversation onto the villain. Kaido and then that one guy, what's his name? With the scarecrow and the straw sword. <laughs> Hawkins. Hawkins. <I> think. <laughs> Hawkins. <laughs> Oh god, dude! I don't like. I personally don't like Hawkins, uh, just because he seems kind of like a douche. But yeah, but isn't that the point of a villain? No, I mean, when look at Big nice Mama. <laughs> I like an entertaining villain, like Mama. <laughs> She's entertaining. Oh gosh, she's ridiculous. <laughs> I Whereas agree. Hawkins to agree, but... like yeah, he's just like meh. One thing I don't 
like in One Piece is when the characters just say their names after every sentence because it gets old. He's done that with so many characters now. So you know how she's like, mama, mama, <laughs> like after everything. And then you get that guy with uh, the giant handguns or the pistols and he has the big tongue from um, Be- Beji's crew and he's just like, lelo, 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 lelo. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, let this guy escape the silence. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Dude, this is whole I mean, that's not just a One Piece thing. That's like a, that's like a Japanese thing. Yeah. It's, you you put that at the end of sense to for like, I don't know. It's like like extra emphasis. Like my favorite's the 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 tongue guy with the pero pero leak. <laughs> oh god, the candy guy. Yeah. <laughs> he just has to okay. say lick after every sentence. <laughs> my favorite part about that guy's leak. character arc is when uh, Jaguar Face commits suicide for like this this grand scheme. He's like, I got you guys. You're going to survive because of me. I'll take out one of their most powerful, um, what, what, what would it be? Uh, underlings for Big Mom. And then you think, oh, shit, he killed himself. This guy's dead. He's like, Lelo, Lelo, I, I just made a candy arm. <laughs> I'm going to start <laughs> using that for the rest of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Be one of my favorite villains. I'm excited to see Kaido though. I think that guy looks badass. Oh yeah. Although they kind of spoil like a lot of his stuff during the opening credits. But yeah. Well, didn't he? Yeah, uh, didn't he now. attempted suicide like eight times. He just can't kill himself. Yep. Wasn't that the story about him? Yeah. Well, that was the 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 preview of like him during the other arcs. Um, yeah. Essentially, yeah. I'm but, curious to see like what antidepressants he's on. I'll find out more about his story. <laughs> It's, it's probably going to be one of those generic, oh, you're too powerful. You don't have anyone to fight against. So you want to like find someone strong. And then here comes Luffy, who actually matches him. So that's what I feel so like it's going to turn out to be. Is your prediction that Luffy takes out Kaido and then Law takes no. out? No, I don't, well, at least not in this arc. I don't think he's going to take out Kaido just because he hasn't even, even come close to fighting Big Mom, Big Mama. Like during that last yeah. arc, he wasn't even close to beating her so i don't kaido is supposed to be way stronger so i don't think he's gonna at least not within this arc maybe there is okay. a like a time another time skip or something he has to gain so much more power just to be able to take him on to be honest that's what i feel like he's he's definitely not strong enough fair but, fair enough I, I agree with that yeah but that's more to come i mean the anime is pretty much caught up to the manga so it's it's hard to tell what's gonna happen we shall see. I can't wait for the samurai to return. The half zebra, oh, yeah. half red samurai. <laughs> so, um, just a quick question: What do you guys say? What do you guys think is going to happen once the anime actually catches up to manga, or do you think it's going to happen at all, uh, or no? Well, right now they're doing a lot of side stories and whatnot to try to slow down the progression of the main arc. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but we'll see. I th- I think it's still, I'd say like a month's worth of chapters ahead of the anime um definitely the anime has been known to drag out certain things so yeah it's a love hate thing where they don't do fillers like naruto style but they do drag the hell out of their episodes so you're getting like half a chapter per episode which is yeah pretty ridiculous yeah we'll definitely see it's still enjoyable but yeah, but you can definitely tell. Like, I usually what I'll do is I'll watch one anime after the other. So I'll watch One Piece because that's my primary anime, and I'm like, wow, not a lot happened in the episode. And then you go to like My Hero Academia, and you're like, holy shit, that that mm-hmm. felt like an episode. So that's always the worst. Yep. We should also probably mention in this podcast that mm-hmm. uh, there was no Hero Academia this week. He did. He did. He I, no, I, he I was did, paying attention. Yes, there was also no One Piece this week. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I was pretty sad. I'm not gonna lie. I, I ate a hat. Although the last episode wasn't a huge, like progression episode either. It, nothing much happened in that last last episode from last week. It was just mainly like finishing wrapping up the uh, the side the the mini fight between him and um, Edo Sama, right? Or wait, is Edo Sama? Not Edo. Uh, the guy You're that talking about the yeah, yeah, the lion guy. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> the his name. But... The fucking belt. 
I like that, man. I like when the lion hit him in the balls and in the then balls. it hurt both of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Just oh. shots. Uh, was it effective? By the way, what, yeah, it, it was effective on yourself. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Uh, cheek girl. T- Toma, you said Tama? Toma. Otoma. Otama. 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 I think okay. Tama means balls. That's why she has those cheeks that turn into balls and then she can make animals. Balls. It's, it's just ball in general. Ball, yeah. Balls. Ball, David. Tama, Tama like, is also that... like a common name for, for cats in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Tama is a common name for cats in Japan? Yes. <laughs> what? I'm going to name my cat Tama Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so this is why her name is Tama, for those who don't watch the show. Basically, there's this new character, small girl, malnourished, um, and from like her cheeks. Character. Oh, she, she's terrific. From yeah, her she's... cheeks, she pulls out these like little yeah. glowy balls and then feeds them to animals, and then the animals have to follow yeah. what she says. So she, I, I think she's going to be a main piece in this arc, uh, the main key to this arc, just because they're fighting beast pirates. So... Which in the other episode when he, she tamed one of the uh, headliners, so that's why she's going to be pretty. Cute. Oh yeah, the horse yeah. lady, right? Yeah, yeah. Since yeah, since they're fighting essentially all beast pirates in this arc, because that's yep. his crew, right? So she's going to be like huge, huge key piece of the uh, them winning. Good but, call. I honestly yeah. didn't even put those two dots together, but that's why they call me Detective Sash. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have discussions, man. Uh, this is why I would be Luffy in real life. Because he never puts two and two together. He's just like, let's just go. Like, Luffy, we're just going to die. He's like, yeah. Oh, God. So real quick, before we move on from One Piece, I want to ask you, too, if you guys watched the movie that was released. like uh, The new one that's coming out? The new, uh, I thought it was, was already it out. Stampede? In, in the in NA. Yeah, Shit. Stampede just came out. So I was wondering really? if you guys watched that. I have not seen it. I thought it wasn't coming out yet. I don't no. know, it's just trailers. I thought it was right here. They no, came out uh, came earlier out. this week. Yeah, as much of a fan as I am, I've never watched the movies, honestly. There's one. There's one we went to, no. but uh, it ended up being showed in the theaters. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it showed in theaters earlier this week. A couple of my buddies went to say it. They said that they liked it, so I just wanted to see if you yeah. guys watched it. I wanted to see it. Uh, however, I completely forgot about it, and <laughs> I've just. After watching the Naruto movies, like literally out of ten Naruto movies, maybe two were actually enjoyable and entertaining. So yeah. I took that ratio and applied it to One Piece and said, ah, "I just won't watch any of the movies." Fair enough. I was just curious to see if you guys even watched it. So all good, brothers. Uh, random question: Did you end up watching the Hero Academia movie? No. See, I wasn't even aware there was even one. Maybe you okay. told me a while ago, but I forgot. Was okay. it any good? I thought it was pretty good. It was enjoyable. Um, okay, and then I know they're making another one that's supposed to be coming out. I think this winter in Japan. Yep. Hmm. Okay. So hopefully I we get it fairly soon. Thing. Yeah, it's it's. It, I thought it was pretty cool. It it uh, takes say... place before All Might loses his powers, so it's uh, well, part, oh, part of it okay. does. Yep. Part of it does, but then it's like the main, it mainly takes place in the present day too. Hmm. Wait, this movie, the one that came out already. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't remember. Uh, yes, right. Well, well I, it's hard to remember now, just because like where we are in the in the show. But oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. <laughs> All right, well, have we got anything else for One Piece? No, we just await the next episode, and uh, looks like Peter and I are on the same page. So good to see. Uh, I just disagree with him saying he doesn't care about the other members besides Luffy. I think that's very <laughs> selfish on his behalf. That's terrible. Like the like the yep. strong point in a lot of anime is actually like the supporting cast. And he's like, ah, F the supporting cast. Yep, I I strongly disagree with that. So uh, that, that's my only disappointment with him. But everything else, I, I totally would touch tips with him on. <laughs> Good to hear. All right. All right, we're going to move on to uh, the next show, uh, Chokureki no Soma, or Food Wars, the fourth plate. Uh, so this episode, this is basically like all Megumi focus. It's basically her versus Momo. And their uh, their theme was apples. So... I just want to say, like, dude, the food still looks really good. Like, oh, yeah. especially um, Megumin's uh, was Dora Yaki. That, that looks so good. 
it does kind of plain to me, but uh. It I don't care, man. I would have. I would eat that. I would destroy that. Uh, I I really like the um like. Not I don't know what like those like bean paste that you you usually get with a lot of Japanese foods. Like I really like those. So the dorayaki just look really good. Oh yeah, Plus, yeah. Like, that but the apple cupcake looking thing looked too sweet to me. So I was like, pass. I'll take. The Are you kidding? You wouldn't even try that. I mean, I'll try it, but to me, I just I'm I don't have that much of a sweet tooth. So I just to me, like the cupcake just looks like. Yeah, the, the, I'm afraid I would get diabetes too. Just you know. <laughs> the thing <laughs> I learned from this show it's people eating like things that like they don't even think like look looks that like good, or I don't even know if they're interested in the food, and yet they still reach climax. No, it's like it looks good. It's just it looks too sweet for bro. I don't eat sweets a lot. I'm more of like sodium dude because of my will, salt level. But I will destroy all food. <laughs> well, the thing too about the 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 apple too is that like it's. Because it's, it's rose flavor. Because she took all like the petals and like. Oh god! Dude, have so you good. ever tasted what? a rose? Let me ask Boiled you that. <laughs> what, dude? Have you had like rose but it drinks? It tastes like ass. Hey, dude, okay, there's like rose. Isn't there? There's rose rose flavored drinks. Those are really good too. You think I drink rose shit, dude? I'm not <sighs> that lavish, okay? <laughs> oh, just because it's roses, you think you think it's expensive? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going to like the. Uh, the store that's uh, somewhere around us that I think would have uh, a rose flavored drink, and I'm gonna have that ready for you rose when you okay. visit. And by the time I visit, it's gonna roses be doesn't sound like doesn't sound. I mean, I know like you would get the day you come back on, but like it doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure. It's, it's, like, a, I'm sure it's a nice scent, but I don't know if the taste would be as great as you think it yeah. is. Mm. Well, plus, like it's on an apple too. It's like I don't know, like. I don't really know how much of the flavor you can combine with like roses to get like a really good s- sweet flavor. Yeah. We need a resident chef in the. Whereas like, whereas like dorayaki, it's like <laughs> that knows I, what's, I, what's I love, up. I mean, okay, I'm biased, but I, I love like like the bean paste, like, p- like pastries that Japanese yes. food makes. Those so are really like, good too. So like I can easily like like imagine eating like the the bean paste in between with the apples and there's like other stuff in there that I forgot, but it looked good. Uh-huh. I mean, I also like the jelly filled donuts, but um, just just from that in itself, it doesn't look like the filling would be that uh, tasty with it just being apples and whatever I else we can put in there. I, I oh, guess, because like, yeah, we don't know what's in the center of Mega Means yet. Oh yeah, they didn't nope. say. Yep. Yeah, it uh, stopped at a cliffhanger right there. <laughs> yeah, but I just want to say uh, I called it right. Like uh, Shinomiya came out and trained Megumi. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure I said that too. No. You- did hell yeah i said that <laughs> that was a questionable no he didn't see this is when we play like a like we have like a replay and then you hear like the, the part that we played last week like okay, yeah, well, yeah let's just have a sound bar ready for everything yeah. that everyone said <laughs> like, we need like the challenge flags and stuff okay all right we'll do it next week next week for sure <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, so, someone else can get that yeah, get on there. it david come on <laughs> <laughs> well, i can't do it live i don't have an audio mixer yeah, exactly. That's how so we'll do it next week. Like, Ooh, yes. So you have a we'll one week a recap for, for a mixer. I'm not doing right. I have a mixer in one week. Fuck you guys. Uh, David, but what about all the money we're making for this? Yeah, I love <laughs> all the money. Sorry, I don't want you to tell me. From, from the stuff that we said, I feel like it would be pretty cool if you didn't demonetize already. So. <laughs> mm, no, I think we'd be fine. Yeah, for the things that I've like heard in other podcasts. Oh, wait, maybe. Never mind. I forgot that one's not monetized, and I might know why. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, pass. But um, I because uh, oh, actually, Peter, you watched this episode, right? He's not. I don't think he's back yet. Oh yeah. Never mind. Okay. So um, so last because last week, like, uh, Kud, did you predict that Megley was gonna win this round? Yes, I feel that she was gonna win. Uh, okay. So almost gonna win, and then Aldini was gonna lose. Okay. Yeah, the, of the three, I think that's the one that uh, has like the highest chance of losing because because that guy also has like a thing against uh, Soma. Right. So, yeah. like, like, it feels like it could happen, but it couldn't because, I mean, Soma already did face him once. So it's just like, I know mean, he's like, they were trying to say something like, oh, he wasn't taking it serious or something like that. It's, it's like, right, oh, he wasn't. What, what, a, what a good excuse. Yeah. No, he wasn't, though, right? I mean, he basically, he basically uh, the last time they fought was when they were going to uh, destroy the Polar Star Dormitory, right? Yeah, and, and it was then, Rick, too. Yeah, and it was Rick. So halfway through, he wasn't even trying. So he had yeah, half okay. yeah, that's so true. He did. Yeah, and he just put down whatever. So, yeah, yeah. So of the three, I, I definitely think uh, Aldini has Aldini has the ch- the highest chance of losing. 
Yeah, and if they're going to make a segment for Kuga <clears throat> and uh, the first seed, or first seed, right? They had a whole episode for that. I'm pretty sure they're going to let Soma and they're going to let uh, the A seed guy like have their final match, right? Settle the score. Yeah, I mean, I really wish, or I really hope that Eldini actually beats that guy because I just don't care about him. Like, I, I think he's just a terrible villain. Um, and I just, I really just don't care to, to see any more screen time with him. That's yes. my two cents on that. Yeah, because I, because I, I, I thought that everyone but Soma was gonna lose. So we'll see what happens. No faith, right. no faith. Like I said, well, we like, gotta, I we gotta recap call. this for next week. Yeah, like I'm still calling it. I think Megumi, like you know, yeah. she'll win it, and then she's gonna go up uh, against the the second seat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I keep forgetting her name. Um, Ringo. Yeah. And that one, I would assume that, like that one, I, I with uh, never mind. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I'll, I'll wait. I don't even know if it's a if it's a thing. So I, don't know I think that, I yeah, was... the, the entire episode was just was just them, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, she get get some help from uh from from Soma and Aldini, but showing teamwork, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and like cutting down on time for uh, certain uh, certain parts of the their uh their cooking. But, but yeah, it was it was mainly like on making me focus. Episode, mm-hmm. so I'm, that's why I'm, I'm kind of surprised at the ending of the cliffhanger because, like, because they're not gonna have, we're not gonna have much time next episode for whoever's battling next, so probably in another cliffhanger. I don't know, JC staff is just terrible managing anything they do. <laughs> so, well, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure they're doing okay. Um, uh, sure, we'll call it that. Um, well, but I, I got nothing else really. Um, I'm just kind of interested next week just to see the outcome. I mean, by the by the cliffhanger, you would you would assume that Megumi is going to win. Um, I, I would I, hope so, uh, unless it's just a giant debate. I don't, <laughs> so. I don't win, so we'll see. You still don't think Megumi is going to win? No, I, I think they're going to have to pull the BS. But just like making, I don't know, just making it harder mm-hmm. for their team, and just having. I think it's for it's basically going to be like Soma and like Arena, those two at the end. See, I don't know because I already think like Soma's like team's already in a giant hole. <laughs> so, so I yeah, think like we'll they, he needs like whatever help he can get. We'll make it more dramatic then. Oh god, yeah, I can see that too. This is a very dramatic show <laughs> with a bunch of food gasms. <clears throat> but I don't know. Right. I am looking forward to it for right, so, uh, this week. So if no one has anything else to say for or next week, we'll, we just gotta move on to the next show then, uh, Fire Force. So this episode, um. Basically, we get introduced to Victor. Was it Victor Lich? Where uh, uh, he's he's the uh, the engineer or scientist from Hi- Hajima. Is it Hajima or Hajima? I forgot. No oh boy, it's ha- Hajima. Ha- Hajima. Okay, yeah. So he's so. he's from the Digi- the Digimon universe. Yes, Seren from the Digimon <laughs> universe. Yeah, so he was dispatched by like the company to uh, the eighth the eighth company. Just mm-hmm. uh, keep an eye out on him. It's it's kind of weird the way they're setting up because like he's so obviously like untrustworthy that like yeah, crazy I sketchy that like I can't tell if it's supposed to be a bait or it's just like it, a super obvious trope. Like I can't tell which one is is what they're trying to do with that. The thing in all these shows, like when it comes with like the scientists and stuff, they I, I swear like even if they're good, they always seem extremely sketchy. Like even like I, I just think back to like, the Bleach guy where it's like he ends up being good, but goddamn, was he doing sketchy stuff? Um, oh, the thing too is that which I kind of don't like is how they show the new OP this this week. Oh and yeah, they showcase uh him Vulcan right. Oh part, yeah, as, as part of the crew. Part so of the crew. like, so kind of spoil. Oh, yeah, and they so also kind of spoiled it, right? So like, yeah, it's kind of spoiled. And also, they showed uh, Shinra finding his brother too. So like, yeah, yeah, another spoiler. Like, because we were all <laughs> guessing last week whether that was gonna happen this season or not, and like, yeah, they spoiled it in the opening. Probably final fight of the season. Just like well, I predicted. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember the opening, though. So I might have to go back and watch that. Don't. By that, I mean, I'll probably just see it. This- <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I don't I don't like the second the second opening song as much as the oh, first. No, season. not at all. It isn't. It's nowhere near it. It sounds like an a, like a AMV. <laughs> I don't know why they waited until episode 15 instead of the common 12. They're like, we don't want to play this. Yeah, they should have waited. Uh, they did wait for a while. I mean, because normally uh, shows end up, uh, they switched out the song. Like, was it like after episode 12 or 13? Yeah. No, like I said, they should have waited until like after they showcased the characters more. So oh, guessing, yeah, yeah. Right? Rather yeah. than spoiling it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's the problem with a lot of animes. Like a lot, 
Sometimes the openings always spoil. Like yeah, if you watch the opening, you're gonna you're gonna find out a lot of stuff that's happening that arc. I know Sword Art does a pretty good job of not doing that. Sword Art did because they Sword showcased all the terrible. old characters coming back into it, like diving into it. So what do you mean? It's... Well, I mean, as far as I've seen, when I like the first half of Alicization, uh-huh. they usually just like blacked out whoever was behind them or what was going to be there until like later in the season. I remember that. I remember what? that because I literally just watched it. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So, oh, they didn't, wait, you know that, I don't remember that. They Actually, did that I, for I think... Demon Slayer too. Like, uh, they they blacked out the Hashiras until they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Demon Slayer was like the first instance. I was like, damn, that's actually pretty smart. Like, oh crap! I didn't realize any a of a bunch this. of anime. Should be <laughs> I already know because people on Reddit said it. So I was, yeah. I was, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. No, but actually, I take that back. Though. For Sword Art, not not this one, but then the the last Alizization. Um, it it did. I thought that was spoiling it, but it ended up just not showcasing what they should have. Yeah. Mainly because um, you know how they showcase those people like what, like ten fighters uh, when Yujiro had his um, that sidekick or whatever, the apprentice, the right haired chick, and they're mm-hmm. supposedly all at the tower getting ready to fight. So I thought that they were going to have like an army of their own to fight, but it turns out it just Yujiro, uh, Kirito, and then that was it. So uh, I thought it was going to spoil it, but apparently they went a different route. So all right, so hopefully this one's kind of different too. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, uh, what do you, what do you always think of Vulcan? Dude, I th- I personally think he's a badass character, dude. This dude is muscular as fuck. He's a man. He's like, I he love animals. animals. I'm like, yo, I <laughs> I feel it on like a spiritual level, dude. I'm with you 100. percent Whatever you do, I got you. He just I'll wants to bring the animals back. I am yep. your stand, dude. That guy's pretty awesome. But okay, when uh, like how far how far does this show take place? Like uh, um, in the future. It's not really a future. So like, cause the the calendar year, it's like it's like I think it's like either one ninety something or two hundred. So basically, like two hundred years ago, something happened to the world that that caused everything to burn down. And so this is like two hundred years after it. Okay, well, because I just remember like when the person was saying like like they were talking about they were talking about an elephant, and the person's like like what's an elephant? I'm like what the fuck? I was like how the hell does nobody know what an elephant is? Yeah, because everything got got burned down. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so I mean, I, that's what they, yeah. that's what they try to say with the backstory at, at, at in in the intro of every episode. Like they say, like like something catastrophic happened, and this is the world they live in now. So mm-hmm. okay, yeah, that would be a but, terrible word uh, world but, with you know all those uh, like, animals. Someone, someone right also mentioned about the because the, the calendar it's it's the solar calendar, and they're at year like two hundred something. Or, so so I think like started, one one ninety two hundred, yeah. One ninety huh. something, yeah. So it's so okay. the the zero year is when like the event happened. So they'll probably reveal that sometime later. I assume this will be like a long running manga. So I, I I don't know how long when they gotta reveal that. Shonen Jump, right? I don't know. I don't think it's Shonen Jump. I think it's a different magazine. There's a different um Shonen magazine. Oh, where that Fire Force is in? Yeah, I don't think it's Shonen Jump. I can uh, I can check that out, but we can continue. Um... <laughs> So um, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really know if I have much more to say. Um, the only, the only thing for ahead. this episode, just like I just, it's just really weird, just like just like the science, like Victor is a scientist, and then like, and then also at the end too, when um, when uh, Shinra his like his Aldola burst like started activating from like the third captain, mm-hmm. I was like, I was confused if like if he was actually trying to control Shinra or if like Shinra just senses something and then he's. It's his hero's instinct, all right? <laughs> so, like... Because it kind of made it sound like he was, like, going to get control, but then, like, I I think what they're saying is, um, he, like, Chinra, like, he's trying to... Like, he needs to stay because, like, something bad's going to happen to Vulcan. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, yeah. based on how... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was go. just going to say, quick, quick thing. Um, Weekly Shonen Magazine. That's what the, it says for magazine. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. Continue. Oh, okay. So you know how um, the last time it activated, it was kind of like a deep expression to, uh, like a deep emotional burst to, you know, please save him? Yeah. Uh, so maybe with this one, he has a deep anger for Vulcan and he wants to kill him. And with that deep emotional burst, maybe it reached out to um, to the MC and then that's how he's that, that's so how it's like, activated. So it's not right? like direct, it's not like direct control, but it's like a huge like manipulation, is what you think? No, like it's someone's like deep desire. To do something and then it reaches them. It's like yeah, a like, sense. Is he? Is he? Is he? 
I don't think it's controlling him. It's just like he just hears his thoughts. Like okay. his, his. But he saw. Is he? He saw reacting to it. Like so, you think he's gonna, like he's got like attack Vulcan because he he feels the anger from the third captain. No, I think because he sensed it, he's gonna do the opposite and save him because he knows that something's gonna happen. Okay, so that that's where I was confused. I didn't know like that's what what, I thought too. what what to think about like that final mm-hmm. part. Yeah. So I guess with the Adola burst, I'm assuming because isn't Adola like the the god it, like the sun god like, that, that it, it's, it, it's what the it's what the cult people it's what they think is like the pure flame. So mm-hmm. like if you are if you have it, yeah, you're a chosen one. Mm-hmm. You're from like the OG. You're like in, what is it from like the OG flame? Like, cause they, cause like in like their religion, they believe like the flame is purify, is like a purifier. Mm-hmm. Even though like the 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 arrow, uh, cause uh, the sniper chick arrow, she's told Chinro that like he, his flame was the one that's gonna like uh, burn mankind or whatever. Right, purify so. it through through flames, yeah. Yeah. Rather than save, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just th- I'm also tired of like all these uh, captains just being evil. Um. <laughs> Where just like I know, like uh, what the eighth is basically just there to to just like um, check in on all the other like uh, was it the the I can't I forgot the word again companies uh, yeah for, like all the other companies and it's just like it, it almost seems like all of them are evil again uh, except like uh, the one we had like the, the last few episodes like that yeah, arc because Benny was the seventh captain yeah and yep, then no. uh, Hibana is the fifth captain so yeah, and that one was evil but, but became good. Not even really evil, but they were just. You know, her, just her character is just really weird because, like, it may, like, because she it was made to be super psycho, and then like, it just yeah. turns out she wasn't really that psycho, I guess. Yeah, because she wasn't the one. She actually wasn't making people infernals, but she was just wondering. She was like interested in the people that were infernals. She just, I think, she, I think she really hates like religion, just because like she, I think she was was felt right. oppressed at her um at the the church. Oh well, yeah, the entire church basically burned down. Because like, cause the the nuns were always strict on her. So. Yeah, but were, the I nuns, mean, were they only strict on her or everybody? Well, everyone, but like, okay, but she's but the like, one that just got pissed off about it. Yeah, but like, um, but I mean, the third captain, he's, I like, he's the one like from like like Hajima, and like they're trying to make Hajima as like this, you know, the, the evil corporation. So yeah, well, I don't know if I have much more to say. I mean, I guess like a lot of it was just like introducing uh, Vulcan. And then just kind of going through like what he, what, but then they're just them just trying to recruit him. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like based on the opening, uh, he's already part of their group. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, but I mean, it'll be interesting to see how he joins, right? So. Yeah, I actually do want to know because he de- he seems like he hates everyone mm-hmm. except the the red haired girl and his little guy that he has running around. By the way, she's stuff. pretty hot. Uh, yes, I like the red hair. Yes, yes. I, th- I honestly thought they were um, related first, just because they they look fairly alike. Oh, just because she has red it, hair, he has red ever, hair. Everyone's yeah. calling her. Uh, it, it's uh, animation. Tom, everyone's calling her a tomboy, like a tomboy Rinri. I'll take it. <laughs> Who's Rinri? Why am I supposed the Full Metal Alchemist? Oh, I didn't. I didn't watch it for me. My God. Ooh. Yeah. Well, um. Well. Yeah. Right. You heard right, that leader from there. Just... Yeah. We're gonna head over to uh, Doctor Stone. This episode kind of actually surprised me because I I didn't actually think they were becoming like right then and that then and there. Yep. And I didn't think we were actually be fighting people right away. So that makes sense. It makes sense, right? Because like I said, if I think certain was the one that called it out, but uh, no, I, I oh no, it was you, right? Yeah, where? like like Sukasa, like for a primitive guy, he's actually really smart. So he would have seen through the the guy that's like the master of deception and sent people anyways. Yeah, that that's what I said. And Stren's like, no, no, I can't happen. And I'm like, we already had that happen already, Stren. And you gotta do the right. shonen thing. <sighs> yeah. yeah. See, this is why we need a mixer see, and a recap. I, so see, we, I was I was right. hoping <laughs> I was hoping they weren't gonna go down kind of like that same thing where I was hoping they would make it a little bit more I guess different and not really following the shonen way. And uh, I was disappointed. I still enjoyed the episode. Oh yeah, no, that episode was pretty badass. Yeah. When everyone gets their katanas. Yeah. Ooh, well, yeah, everybody the, becomes the strong people. <laughs> <laughs> the people who can actually wield swords. What were we saying, Brad? Everybody becomes Zoro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, um, I yeah. doubt they have Zoro skills. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they just—they didn't even know these swords existed until now. Okay, <laughs> the only person that who knew was uh, the uh, the guy that basically tricks people and Senku. 
But True. And, and then, yeah, he, I mean, he. That's crazy though. I didn't know they had a. It was it back in the day they folded the the steel ten times and then they found out later. Yeah, you'll have to do it twice. Mm-hmm. Well, unless that's, unless it's just a uh, that's just a Doctor Stone like thing and they're just going with it. Uh, I don't no. want to say it's probably accurate. Uh, yeah, because like because the reason why Japanese like katanas are the way they are is because of the folding. But mm-hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like pretty sure like people always like try to like hype up katanas when really it's like I'm pretty sure like they're not. I think like like the big like broadswords would probably like, be better as like as a practicality. People are also debating too whether or not to build a katana compared to like more spears because spears are actually more useful than like in in fights, especially on a bridge. Yeah, that we found out. But then, like we were saying, like it's mainly for like the intimidation factor. The spear? No, no, the katanas. Like, okay, okay. Like, okay, like you, just, you just come into this village that you think is primitive, and you find out they actually have a katana. Yeah. Oh, I suppose yeah. All those people. Okay, I, that, that's one thing I have kind of against it. Where it's like with uh, Sukasa, he was always talking about how he's gonna kill like all adults, blah blah. blah and he's gonna have like a you know like just kind of like a fresh new start. And these people that he like he uh, revived. They look like just the like I I was hey, confused and I thought like just, these were they're just big for their age trend all right okay yeah uh, okay mm-hmm. we'll go with that I <laughs> yeah. thought, like when I first saw them I was like okay did he like just find like another uh camp was it just a bunch of like barbarian looking people no no because um, they, ha- they have the scars on their face that's yeah the I know not so yeah and then yeah when I saw that I was like oh god okay whatever I'm just I'll just go with it because then, again it's cost to fights lions so uh huh. Like I'm, re- yeah. I was just surprised just how how fast everything went. Like they had three days to make all the katanas. Yeah. And then, like, dude, that old man, he's too good. Yeah. He's a beast. Yep. He's uh yeah. He's he's really the main guy. Like if he wasn't there, I mean, I I don't know if basically they couldn't uh, do anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he, yeah. it's basically him. He's he's, a, he's the smith. Yeah. Yeah, they have to. I would protect his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he go. He's he goes out and uh. You see that old everything. man? He don't need no damn protection. He'll yeah, right? bash the person's face. <laughs> that is fair. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I wonder if we ever will get to see him fight, or if he's just actually. I probably I would not put him in the front lines. Keep him in the back. Yeah, I think he'll be fine in yeah. the back. Have him yeah. just be a surprise factor. Uh-huh. Yeah, but like that'd be helpful. Helpful. The beginning of the episode, I was kind of mad too. How like how when, um, when I like, was it Ginro, he was like. Like falling off the bridge, and everyone's telling him to cut up, cut off the bridge. Yeah, that and whole like, thing got delayed. <laughs> it's like, like they try to make it so dramatic, but then like you just know they're not gonna do it. So. Yeah, oh, they might. Like, yeah, they might. Well, at that moment, I guess I really didn't know what was gonna happen. Um, right. But but the whole thing where they're just like, oh, cut it now, and they just kept talking and talking. I'm like, something could easily happen, like in between this point, and nothing came of it. But uh, but uh, like with Doctor Stone or this show, like I don't really, I'm not like after like that uh, the fight where they basically burn that guy, um, with like having to wait for like was it was like, oh, a yeah. minute or something, minute. or or ten or whatever it was. I'm just like whatever. So it, was, it, was, it was a minute that he had to um. Was it make, a minute? Okay. Use use the lens. Okay. Yeah. Focus. So like, yeah. After that episode, I'm just I just go with it now. I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm not it's really also the same show where Sakasa punched like a lion. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. So there's a lot of things. I'm just kind of. I'm just going with it. So it's like, I'm just like the science parts are are trying to be like more accurate, but then like all the fighting parts are like shonen. Yeah, it's like some. It's it's like Senku, man. He knows nothing about fighting, but he knows all about science. It's like that's the guy who made Doctor Stone. It's like I don't know how fighting works. I'm sure people could fight lions. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can. High school. Yeah. I'm sure I could. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, you'll you'll be one of the first people I revive then, and then backstab me 3,700 years from now. Hell yeah. And then I he mean, strike I mean, me in the no, back of the head. Of course, of course not. Of course not. I okay. Would. All right. Thanks, man. I'm gonna mm-hmm. stay away from you. Sounds good. Just don't risk <laughs> me then. Yep. I'll All put I your statue say. up in my uh, in my room as like a as like a remembrance thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, can't we revive everybody? I was like, it didn't work with this guy. <laughs> Damn. So I'm so like, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad how fast like the uh, <clears throat> plot is moving with with like the war already starting. So. Yeah, it's going really fast. Excited cool. for um next episode where like like I still I still want to see Senku build the catapults and all the other like cool weapons, medieval but... stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I want to say they're probably going to start building actual like rifles now, right? Because the title of the next episode, modernization or something. No, I don't know, but I mean, 
he i mean they had well i think they ran out of gunpowder so they need to go yeah he, go grab he made it, it sound like they had a little bit i, I forgot what it was made of it's like they because they, they were gra- uh gathering it but yep yeah but graphite. i think even with senku i don't think he would go straight into a rifle you probably start with like the match lock guns like the ones where you only can shoot once before you have to like reload. Yeah, it's. I, I think it's gonna take a time before, or it takes well, some like, time like, before they like get the, it really the good. old school like muskets. Is probably I think what they have to start with. Un- unless like I don't know. Well, that's what the, that the the thing that Senku had. It kind of looked like that anyway, where it was just like the was, one shot yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Actually, well, no, it didn't even shoot anything. It was just he just shoved in. Uh, he just, and the guy just, threw the rock. Yeah, yep, it was just. Um, yeah. It was just like he just. It, Explode the gunpowder in it, but I didn't shoot anything out. Brian, you have anything on this part? That man, Magma, has an arm, apparently, and the accuracy of like a god. This he man didn't hit anything. He just hit the he hit side of a wall, though. Talking about. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how str- dude that made a big noise? All right. <laughs> like for people to, that's it's like whoa, dude, that's a gun. It's like all right, fair enough, dude. Hey, there's a low visibility outside too, though. Apparently, Oops. everybody has the fuzzy sickness. Like shit. Mm-hmm. Nobody saw this man throw a rock. Yeah. Well, well, well remember though, like, because all these people revived from like back then, so they like in like all like glasses or whatever, like they don't have any of that. Yeah. Um. So they could easily be all blind as a bat. Well, so. no, I don't think because like because um the the stone thing is supposed to be have healing properties, so maybe I don't know. Huh. I think I think it's it, I think it's mainly just because like when Senku when he. Exploded the the gunpowder just made a really loud noise. So everyone was distracted by Senku. But do you think it would have healing powers to actually fix your vision? I don't know. It fix the vision. Okay. We just saw so far it it heals wounds really good. Yep. Uh-huh. I don't know about fixing visions. Like, okay. I'm pretty sure like the whole reason why someone made it was because they're trying to cure like a, a, a disease. Yeah. And it just like backfired to the whole world. No, yeah. I don't think I have anything else. Um, yeah. I'm looking. I'm just looking forward to. The... I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm loving this show. This, this, like, this feels, it's getting really exciting with this art. I'm sad it's gonna like end like after this season. Um, cut. Too soon. Oh, and I have to tempt myself not to read the manga. Uh, well, well, hopefully, that... it's, hopefully it's one of those where at like the last episode they announce another season. Like I probably think, other I think shows. Well, I think it'll be successful enough. I really hope so. Like even like with all like the dumb stuff that happens, I'm just like, oh god. But I still enjoy it. Yeah. So that's the, that's the difference between this and Sword Art for me. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> we're gonna transition to our next show, which is Sword Art. Which, by the way, we have a uh, Google Docs where we have tried like this outline and like who put just terrible? Was that Sword me? Art? Sword yeah. Art. Like we have next to it, we have just terrible, and like this is so accurate. Did, did we do we update that for like this week or was that from like last week? Too? That was just from like last week. That okay, you put in. <laughs> I yeah, what a, but it's just it's so <laughs> accurate that like we just, I, just, I just think it's funny that it's still here and it's it's just like, uh. it's, like the first thing. That I just want to say and get out of my way is Gabriel. What the fuck is wrong with you? Is that the kid? Or is it like the, the blonde guy? The guy. No. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that yeah, guy we... got some actual problems, dude. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say because what like, the fuck? Like, we'll just we'll start from the beginning of the episode. And just kind of go through it, and this is a you, good place you, to start. You can. Uh, you, I'll leave this to you, Sven. Like I think you would best explain this. Yeah, uh, this well, show. I mean, I'll explain, but I'll wait for because uh, I know Brian. This is what maybe your first. Is this your first time being caught up with with Sword Art with us? I think I was last week too. Okay, you can you can start it off. This guy I got, dude. Someone needs to check their child. Like <laughs> literally, this, nobody bothered to check on this child when he was younger. Like really, he was like, oh yeah. And his dad was like, yeah, insects can live without their heads. This dude's holding a praying man. Like first of all, why the fuck are you catching praying man? I'm personally scared. Wait, of where did they come from? <laughs> like I'm like, all right, cool. This dude's about to rip off a praying man's head. I was like, all right, cool, dude. You pretty fuck. And then. <laughs> This man's funny. Where does everybody soul at? <laughs> Later yeah. in the episode, is like, oh, rip. Okay. Yeah. This soul's gone now. All right. Also, they need to like put a, like, a discretion warning at the beginning of every episode because this shit is fucking brutal, dude. Yeah, there's some brutal scenes. <laughs> like, what, um, the, what the fuck is this honestly- shit? Yeah, like the brutal scene, like wasn't even for like when the you know later on in the episode where he, I think Gabriel chokes that chick out. It's honestly when he shoves like a screwdriver through, I think, what his childhood friend, mm-hmm. like the side of her head. I'm just like, what in the fuck? Like how one, like I like how like this guy, like it's just a kid, he's just murdering people, and like he's like just a grown up, and it's like nobody, nobody went to go check on Alicia. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like why she had a screwdriver, like shoved it. It was like, oh yeah, she ran out with Gabriel, never came back. But uh, we're just gonna kind of ignore that, and just let Gabriel grow up, grow, grow up, and just be normal. Mm-hmm. Normal, yeah. Yes. Well, That's this is what in, I'm calling it. This well, is in, like. Go ahead. From from looks, but his dad was pretty rich, so maybe money got him out, right? Oh, he didn't. Yeah, either that or like his dad just didn't. I don't think he paid attention to anything. He just seems like one of those guys that just loved bugs. I mean, it's all right. He's <laughs> he's in the military, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants now. <sighs> that too, I suppose. Yeah, that is true. This guy's from the U.S. Like, right? This is supposed to be an American yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. because they're calling from San Diego. I'm pretty sure. Like... <laughs> true. Yes. Yes. Fucking Americans, yeah. dude. Just yeah, yeah I know, right? Dude. God. Oh. And then, and then, there's like a few things too, like just to kind of like just a, a dumb thing. But I remember when Alicia's like, "Oh, let's play," and then basically the next scene, like they're reading books. I was like, "Hmm, good version well, of that's, playing." That's because like because the Japanese word is asobu. It really just means like hang out. Oh, so, okay. So like yeah, well, it, it's a weird translation because yeah, it like like when you say to your friends in Japanese like like do you want you don't like like if there's if you don't know what like if you need a general word, you just say asobu, and that's just like a general like hey, let's hang out or whatever. Like, like you would say that to like your adult friends too. Not like you wouldn't say let's play, but it, but, but that's how it, it gets translated usually. Okay, so especially that when makes you, more especially sense. When you, learn, when you learn Japanese from like textbooks, it, it just literally translates. It's just to play. play. Yeah. Okay, that's why I thought because like, our, our Japanese class had that. But like, it's more like hanging out. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Then. So like. So All right. So that was just a that was just bad translation or just not like, really bad. Just like, it. It's just like it's just. Yeah. It was like it's the, the more literal. Says. It was like the more little for the literal form that was like out of context. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. So that yeah, that was the part that was messed up, and also what was messed up is like somehow like when she died, like her soul or whatever, like went into his head. I'm just uh, like, yeah. when the fuck? Did, like, when did this become a thing? And like, <laughs> it's so it's, it's like I don't know. And then, and then when he killed that, uh, then when he choked up that one chick, and then like took her soul, it just ate the soul. I was like. Like where where did this like uh like part of the the game come from? Like why is this a thing all of a sudden? Is it only because like this guy is like a super user, or so they say, and like he has like abilities? It just didn't make any sense. Or is this guy yeah. just absolutely bad they, shit crazy? And he's well, just like that, stuff? probably probably both. But like yeah, they didn't really explain much about like the, like I, I'm pretty sure like like they're skipping stuff from the light novel about like because like um uh, was it the fuck lights? They're supposed to be like. But like it's also the AI that's supposed to be simulating a human soul, because like they all got data from like the real people. But like, so I understand like the soul eating happening in the game because you can see it as a as a game element. But then when he did that in real life, Alicia. With, with, with Alicia, <laughs> it's like yeah. this is so like fucked up. Like, like well, it's, I mean, he, better be, he better be hallucinating about all this or like or just imagining it because like there's no way you can explain this happening in real life yeah. well i mean when the guy uh when that captain figured out that his uh fiance or wife died right and then he went berserk on him and tried to kill his soul i guess yeah he, he did mention that this guy doesn't have, really have a soul right so maybe he's special because he didn't have a soul to begin with maybe it's why he's so fascinated with it right that whole thing was just dumb. I mean, when that guy right. like charged, it's, it's pretty yeah. stupid. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, oh, this guy has nothing in his head logic. and just disappears. Yeah, I was like, hmm. Yeah, solid logic, sort of. Continue this way. He pulled a character on, <sighs> on him, but it didn't work out so well. Well, first when I saw that guy, I was like, like when he was just going like, uh, you know, just berserk mode. I was like, damn, this is pretty cool. And then you oh. just find out like nothing came of it. I was like, wow, that's <laughs> just a waste. I mean, he killed like two generals and ripped that chick's leg off. What a... Oh yeah. I mean, I, I guess, but then this is also the same game where they can regenerate organs by uh, casting spells and stuff. So, I mean, it still hurts. <laughs> no, uh, Kirito still has his arm lopped off. Oh no? yeah, for now. Um, but well, the thing is, I remember like, when uh, way back where I think, um, oh god, uh, from I'm, bl- I'm blanking on the the guy that died last season, the uh, one guy. Yeah, Yuji. Yuji. Where he, he lost the yeah, sorry, where he lost the. Uh, an eye, and then they regenerated the organ. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't remember how that happened. But then again, that was an organ, and it wasn't like a limb. I don't know if that has any difference. I, I think it was like I mean, Alice still has her eye back time. too. Yeah, it was still within time too, and that uh, oh. Sage was able to help recover it. Mm-hmm. So they might just need a Sage, something like that. Someone with high enough authority. Yeah, even though you think yeah, like Kirito would, um, uh, or they would kind of say like we should, probably should get this guy's arm back. Um, instead of just like a 
him not having it for now. Yeah, but I don't know. This this whole episode was just all sorts of fucked up. Oof, like it just doesn't make any sense. Like it's just it was just like a, I don't know. They, with, uh, with really no explanation, no follow up, nothing. Um, it, also, then another thing that I thought was really stupid is like when that guy talked to his like uh, you know went to the um. Went into like the was it the the message board dashboard thing and to talk to people outside, uh-huh. and the guy's like, oh yeah, like you're you're like how are you feeling with the super user and stuff like that, and it's just like makes it this like it's not like there's this really badass character, and like oh yeah, by the way, if you die, your character's gone. It's like mm-hmm. sound logic, dude. <laughs> I mean, I guess as a way to balance out the fact that literally had zero paths we were trying to even get these characters in the first place. It's mm-hmm. like, hey, you actually have some sort of risk if you die in the game. Yeah. Cause like y'all the, yeah. literally just got these old PS fucking characters for actually for free. It's all for free. No password. Nothing. Dude, like, like, no protection. Like every that's every season. It's like they always have to have something about like making sure if you die, like like something yeah. bad is actually gonna happen. But like, yeah. it's just it's just not effective in sword art because you don't feel the stakes at all. Yeah, it's all it's all digital. So it's like I mean, it's like oh yeah, this should like oh you feel the pain still, but nothing will really come of it. And it's like I'm okay. Yeah, like, I just want to say, one. like, I'm just, I'm really sick of like all these villains in Sword Art. I'm sick of the way the authors write them. Like, actual, like they're all. Every, like, I'm pretty sure every single like main villain is some sort of fucked them in the head. It's like either, they're either, either to... a creep or a psychopath. Like, like blonde. actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear, like every well, motherfucker well, in Heath, Sword Art's been blonde. Well, he, Heathcliff, like, in, <laughs> like he was Japanese. He just played a blonde character. See. <laughs> This but guy like, has something with bonds, man. He he just thinks they're evil. Oh, they probably but, are. Let's let's be real. Guaylos are pretty evil. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I just I I don't know. I I'm really like tired of this. Like just just the the, the way he writes his villains is like like they're the same not, bland. They're actually yeah. not not redeemable. Like you like like I think good villains are people that like have a good reason. Where like like you you they're, like their actions pretty. are wrong, but you understand why they're doing it. Yeah. He's just, just so like one dimensional, like yeah, just be, evil, just or just psycho. Yep, yeah, basically evil will be evil, and which are the worst kind of villains. And, and it's like, they're, and, they're, and they're not evil. Like they use like like mental illness, just like as like excuse for like, this yeah, being mental, psychos. Yeah, mental illness, just like the guy in Gun Girl. So, uh, but uh, there's one more um kind of like uh rant that I have about the show is uh. Because these are also the same guys that were at the uh, were in the first episode of Alicization, where when th- when things started becoming like not um, like actual field work or like like when the when it started to like, to get out of like the military or uh, mm-hmm. part of it, and then it started to become like more kind of like just freestyle. They're just like let's back up. This is becoming too much. This is pointless. Mm-hmm. And yet, like when they they have like this kind of logic, and yet they go into like a fantasy game, and there's just none of that thought. They're like because there's no guns obviously and then there's just, you know just swords spells and, and whatever else and they're, they're just acting like it's normal like they've been playing this game for their for like the last 10 years with like no issues behind it <laughs> when at the beginning like when uh when kirito and like them like uh, enter the, the world there was like trying to figure out some stuff and these guys are like fuck it we know everything yeah um, even though i really don't care to like to like just follow these villains trying to figure shit out, but they could have at least kind of like mentioned it. Um, and that's the thing too. It's like, like they came in like during the second season, whereas the first part was focused all on like Pontifex, and now she's gone. And now I have to be reintroduced to another villain. It's like, yeah, it just it doesn't flow well. Like, yeah, it it, it really doesn't. Because like even though like we're in the world now, it's like this other like. Because like the dark territory was like ignored for so long during the first half, and now it's like it's a normal thing. <laughs> and now like it just seems like it's just all coming <clears throat> crashing down way too fast. And then we get introduced to these villains like right away. It's like there's no build up to this. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely like for me, just sort of it's going just downhill so fast. Uh, I mean, like animation, and everything like it, it still looks like top notch, but it's it's just like I just can't take it serious. Um, especially like when you go to um, a, lot, a lot of these things, like we you know when you hear like just like how much people like hated Sword Art and just like how bad it was. I always kind of thought of it as being like in the middle. Like I definitely did not think of it. It was like one of the greatest shows, but I did not think of it as like one of the worst shows. I thought it was like a safe middle, and now it's just slowly like from that middle part, it's starting to go to the really bad. 
I mean, and to it's me, going it's, still, really, it's going pretty fast. To me, it's still entertaining to watch, but oh, it's same, like same. it's not. Um, I'm not enjoying as much as I would like. Yeah, but I can't stop. Right, it's yeah. kind of addicting. So yeah. maybe that's why. I I'm hoping that Peter gets back during this this session because actually or this part because I I want to hear his thoughts on sword art. Like yeah, I I feel the same. Like like I just thought it was just an average show, but like I don't know. It's like. Really, I, just, I can only watch for the, the fight scenes now. I, yeah. I can't. Or, I, or even sometimes the world are in- interesting, but like they never like, do any world building. It's always about Kirito. It's always about like three characters. Yeah. It's, I, I don't know. It's, um, <clears throat> um, it's like, it's not like one of those, like, there's some shows that are bad, but you still like enjoy them. Um, this one, it's like, it's becoming like laughably bad, where it's like, it's just, like I laugh, but it's not because like I'm enjoying it. It's more of like, are you like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, did you really just do this and not like? I'm, do, like, I'm hey. always yelling like, what the fuck? Every time yep. I watch this this season. Yep, yep. It's like, but how could you laugh this episode? Weren't you crying? Oh god, when this all one. Those I, girls died. No, well, this one I did not laugh. At, like I was uh, really yelling, at all. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was more of a kind of like like that was just like I don't know. It, it was just it was really weird. Um. Like I mean, the whole part, like where, like that dude choking the chick out, like it's like I expect this from this, this author because this guy's just terrible at just making villains or anything. I mean, that, but, that, but part, the, the one... that part that wasn't bad because because she she was trying to kill him, so I I expected it to go that way. You can way. easily see it, yeah. You can easily uh, see it coming. But, but just, then Alicia the flashback then to just oh my god, like yeah, yep. Yeah, the the Alicia thing with that got me where it's just like they're just sitting down and then she's just twitching with a screwdriver in the side of her head. I'm like, okay, this is different. Um. Yeah, they didn't really explain anything that came from it either. They basically just showed that he was psychotic, but then they didn't like yeah. actually go through like uh, after that, like what happened, what happened to him. Well, let's, no to... let's wait until next episode then, right? Because mm-hmm. I, I, like I said, like when the uh, captain went berserk and tried to attack his soul, he kind of fizzed out, uh, relaying the message yeah. that he doesn't have a soul. Like maybe next episode they'll try to like expand on that, right? So yes. uh, I'd say let's wait until next episode and see if they expand on that or not. I will give. Okay, I'll give it the benefit of doubt and hope that uh, next episode just kind of clears some things. Mm. Um, but I, I am just like won't expect it. <laughs> I, I can't like I can't overthink this show. I'm just I'm just waiting for the fight scenes. Yep, yeah, that's that's basically at this point. It's just I'm just I'm here to watch fight scenes. I just want like yeah, it, Alice. And, I just want it's not so bad. I want Alice. I want Kyoto, and then I want um the, the the first night. I want them to all like pat shit crazy. Oh, uh, the the night with like that's where's like the kimono looking thing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. He's he's. I don't even know the guy, but he seems awesome. I'll, I was gonna say too, like the because the, the the general that died this episode, like she looks so similar to the other integrity knight. Yeah, I got confused. Also, like, probably her. So like when they showed them in that dark territory for the first time, I'm like, wait, is she a traitor or what? And it didn't hit me that she, it was a different character because they look so similar. Mm. Yeah. Um. Do we know if Peter's back yet? Uh, no. I saw he's no longer away, but he's still muted. Shoot. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, when we're if done with Peter this section, back, if Peter gets back, we can just like ask for his thoughts. Real yeah, quick too. circle back. Cause I actually, I, I want to know his thoughts on it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I mean, that's all I got. I mean, I, I think I. That's a lot of things so, to go wrong in one this episode. Just, this so. just start becoming our, our weekly shit on section right here. Yeah, which is just like I, I like first episode. I thought it was just gonna be a joke, and then it's just like, damn, it's actually just getting worse and worse. Uh-huh. Like, I'm just I can't believe like like people kept hyping this up, like saying this is supposed to be the best yeah. arc, and this is supposedly supposed to redeem this the series, whatever. Else. Like the, the yeah. rank gets better. Just like it's just the same thing as like the other. I mean, unless the anime, series. like the animation studio, is just doing just like just uh, butchering it, but I, I don't know. I mean. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe in the light novel they did a really well job, but then yeah. animation wise they just Even cut out so much. So I think I just feel like the premise is just like I just don't feel attached to anything in this season because everything is happening in the the simulation. Yeah, if anybody's listening to this, uh, you know, just let us know in the comments if like if you're reading the light novel or anything, if it's different, if it's the same, or if like the anime is doing, uh, you know, he's, like if, if the anime is not doing the light novel just, I, I have no idea. So like. I, have no I, had no, I had, like I had no intention of, like of like going further into sword art, but maybe I'll actually like 
eventually read like the light novel, see like what. Oh God, no! I, if anything, I'm looking at spoilers. I, I, I'm like, if this is the <laughs> if this is the writing this guy has, hell no! I'm not wasting my time. Maybe I'm, just, yeah. I'm looking up spoilers again. Like <clears> I said, maybe it's not really the writer's fault, right? Maybe it's just the, the yeah, that's what studio that's not yeah. picking out the right scenes. Yeah, that's why I definitely want to know like from like other people yeah. that are reading like. But this is but what's weird though is like. I haven't looked at like a compl- I don't know if any of you guys have like looked at like recent Reddit if people are complaining about it at all or if they're still saying oh people, this is so good. People weren't no I mean they weren't there was like less complaint in the in the Reddit thread than I thought like I thought people were sh- people were just saying how psycho the guy was but they weren't like shitting how ridiculous this thing was everyone was like there's people that people over there said like, yeah like um like this is the part of the light novel they were reading and they're enjoying it so far and I'm like what oh boy oh boy wrong, what's wrong with you people. Oh boy, sorry, sorry, <laughs> fans. People getting uh, which is weird because like, when she choked them out or when she got choked out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's weird because like because people like usually like people on Reddit usually shit on shows like Sora, and for now it's like I guess like it's they're all they're all they're all gone. The one ones left are people like the, the actual fans. Mm. Yeah, Just, I like, can see it, a lot of people like a long time ago that that dropped this show. Yeah, like I think it's like. Like most, like <clears throat> most of the people usually sh- like shit on sort of. They're probably not watching this season. That's why the threads are more positive. So like, I, I, it's just a really distorted view of like of the thread, it's the thread itself. Is like I expected way more like people shitting on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's What's crazy is uh, on an anime list for this season, they sort of are still number two uh, behind uh, Hero well, Academia. That's why I, I don't trust anime lists. Fair enough. It's It's what I currently use. I mean, but again, you may not like it, but it is still entertaining, I'd say. So maybe that's why. Yeah, I mean, I'm. It's still, it's, it's, it's still entertaining. Um, but uh, it's, it's nowhere near um, any like my favorite show at all. No, <laughs> I'm just disappointed. <clears throat> like this is, it's just, it's just, it's just a series that has so much potential, and they just keep wasting it. Yeah, especially for how much time they've given it, like for anime. It's like, goddamn, dude. Ugh. So many more shows could have used the second season, and yet here we are. We're on the fourth season. I know. Oh, fourth season God. and a spinoff later. <sighs> yeah, I enjoyed the yeah. spinoff more than this. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, because spinoff because it didn't focus on Kirito, so we can actually like see other characters develop. Yeah, yeah, it's actually nice. Even uh, though, like, even though there's psycho characters in that too. Yeah. Fucking author can't yeah. help himself. And then we have uh, we have Peter. Oh, I don't care about anybody but Kirito. It's like okay in this show, fair. They have, they've never they've not shown anybody else. But yeah, I mean that's that's I think that's all I have. I mean, I we right. definitely spent so a lot that, of time. That, that concludes our weekly shit Oof. on sort of section. We're giving it too much time <laughs> for this yeah. terrible show. So we're at move on over to Fate Grand Order. So this is just you mean Strider again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I so go ahead. I want to say like this the first half just it felt. I don't know. It felt very filler. Like, like it. It feels like 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 fetch like not fetch quest, but it's like there's so much like RPG elements I noticed in the first half, where it's like where you know Gilgamesh is supposed to be a king and he's busy, but he, yeah, he just takes time out of his day hang to out. hang out with yeah. these two randos from the future. <laughs> yeah, it felt very uh, mobile game like. It's just like RPG in general. It's like yeah, he's like he's tag- he's he joined the party while they're doing like their their side quests. And then he yeah. asked to join them to like to go out to this location to purify and he, water. Like, friendly, like like <laughs> joining them on their party. Yeah. And then she has to tell us stories too about what they ha- what they did. Like that's oh. so filler. Yeah, that part I'm just like, we don't need this. But uh, I did like when he basically said like those stories were terrible. I was like, yes, go get a little bitch. You tell. Them. I mean, I don't know why like, like it had to be terrible because they went through six singularities that we didn't see in the anime. So she could just like yeah. just talk about all the other singularities. Well, the thing is, the the only singularity they keep referencing is I think it was the third one with the uh, the pirate lady. Who's, I forgot her name. Is that supposed to be, is that supposed to be like like Blackbeard or something? Or uh, I think so. Um, okay. I'll I'll check it out when you're like while well, like or, like if you're talking or going okay. out about something with figuring or I'll I'll check it out. But um, but so the first half was just really filler. Second half of when they thought um. The imposter that keeps calling himself in keto, even though he's not. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that fight scene is was really it was really. So cool. I, I wasn't expecting like, um, I because I don't know, it just didn't hit me that like, he they were 
I don't know if he was like an apprentice of Gilgamesh or just because he's been with him so long that their fighting style is so similar. But like, uh-huh. just when you start throwing all those chains, like, oh, okay. Yep. Just a massive, like, you know, like thousand weapon fight right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah every time, like, dude, it's, it's pretty cool to see Gilgamesh, uh, cur- like, or I mean, I don't know. Well, just with from watching all the previous fate stuff, like Gilgamesh is like you always see him and thinking, okay, when is he gonna go evil? And then, uh, but it, like right now, it's like if Gilgamesh was actually a good character, oh, like he just like his abilities are just they're yeah. like, just so badass. They're so broken. Oh, one thing too, like I like during this episode, like I don't know what's what's going on during the whole season, or I, I just noticed it now. Like the sound effects are super loud. Like when the they chains, are. they're like it's super loud. I'm like, well, gee. Yeah, like the like like the change uh, the chains the explosions and stuff. Like I have like uh, my uh, surround sound speakers. I have uh, the the you know, like the sub pretty low, and that's that like even like the explosions were making it rock pretty hard. Like I I'm I'm just listening on my laptop and like I just this is the sound effects. Like I hear some I hear like them talk and then I just hear the sound effect of like the chains hitting each other. And uh, by the way, the, the the pirate girl from the the third singularity was Francis Drake. Francis Drake. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's um that's the character that they um they base off from Uncharted. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's Nathan Drake's uh, like ancestor. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's the name. I I, I just saw, like a, a post, but I'm going into like the yeah Francis Drake. Okay. Yeah. So. But no, no, I still, anyway, so I I still don't really understand what's like what's going on with like um in, like the Inkido Inkido imposter. Like, is she? Is she just like is is he like did they did they just take their form and it's like some it's like some other like soul that's in there or some like I don't understand like what he is like what he's supposed to be because like every time like when the you know when they were fighting when um it looked like the guy was gonna do like the final hit like on Gilgamesh he they had like a flicker like it was like, almost almost looking like it almost looked like a glitch uh, yeah in like a system or something so I I have no clue like. Cause, cause, cause the real ones is supposed to be dead. So, like, yeah, I don't think I don't. I can't tell. If, like, if maybe <laughs> this guy like took it over his dead body and he's just animating it of his own, like his his own spirit, or if it's like something else. Yeah, just like some something that was like completely made, or uh, maybe like we're just like uh, perceived to think it's him or her. I can't. I still don't know what Inkito is. Think it's him. Him. Okay. Um. So I, I'm really, I really don't know, but uh, like I like with Inkito's ability, like uh, it, it was actually pretty cool. Where I first thought he was like maybe the same thing as Gilgamesh, until you see nothing but chains coming from this guy. So I was like, okay, well he's a chains guy, <laughs> and then uh, Gilgamesh just summons like every single weapon possible. Is what was his noble phantasm call again? Is it something like something with an E? Um, I can uh, I can look that up too. But uh, his is. I thought, I thought something. Like, I was like, I think I thought his it was called like Babylon something, but like. Oh, it could um, be. I wasn't sure. I know. I know. Like his title. Like his title is King of Kings. So. Yeah, he's badass. Um. But uh, anyway, we can keep talking. I'm. I'll just. I'm just gonna keep looking. No, no, I was just gonna say too. Like, cause, um, in Kidu, he also references like mother. So I assume it's like I assume it's like one of the goddesses. Yeah. Maybe she like put like someone else's spirit inside the dead body yeah so i'm still not sure what's going on and 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 again too like i was saying last week like like just mash keeps getting her ass kicked yeah she's uh mash and fujimaru like they both like like this is so <laughs> useless that's what happens when you have a you have a, a servant that's a sh- like just a shielder but like this is, the seventh, this is the seventh singularity where is her super like fortress noble phantasm Unless like Fujimaru doesn't have enough mana for that, then. <laughs> uh, well, I know in the game, uh, a lot of the times it's like when every time they go to the, one of these singularities, it's uh, they're going during the time of like some heroes, and then usually like the heroes party up with you, so they're not really like ever alone. They're just they're usually there, but they're just being in a way like they're uh, uh, they're being like escorted by these guys because like well, no yeah, way is Mash over near Mash like being there. Like there's no reason yeah. for him to be there besides uh, the this being a mobile game. <laughs> Yeah, yep. And his uh and Gilgamesh's uh noble phantasm is G- Gate of Babylon. Gate of Babylon, okay. Yep. I was thinking of I think the weapon he pulled out. It, it's I think it starts with an E. Um okay. in you in Unlimited Blade Works. Not this one. He just basically just summoned a bunch of weapons. Yeah. Um but, like would he even have a noble phantasm if he's not like uh if he's not like a servant or 
Well, the thing with um with the was a gate of Babylon. Um, it has like all the heroic uh, heroes weapons as well, and then because of that, he has all their noble phantasms. Oh, okay. So he's an absolute broken. My God. <laughs> Who thinks of this stuff? When yeah. you could give like when you give abilities to characters like that. Well, especially when you have those abilities, like even through fate, like I mean, he never used anything else besides his is is Aeon or Eon weapon, that big giant red thing. He never used anything else, like any other uh, noble phantasm. That was the only thing he used. So I I, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know why they they don't uh, they don't they go don't use that more. I Maybe just, because he's already too broken. I hope they introduce like the two other goddesses because I'm I'm curious like who they are or even though like I don't know I don't even know how much I want to think about like the plot in this because like it's fate. Yeah, so, it's like, uh, I guess I, just, I, I guess it was it was fun it was it was fun seeing the fight scenes but yeah just I'm just just really just like well, I guess com- confused or just not not really into like the whole like the, the whole like like plot right now I guess yeah well with the um... I, th- I think that with the 21 episodes they've announced, I do think that it'll be able to cover the whole thing. Um, Cause usually I don't think the, uh, ex- ex- except this one that it sounds like it might be longer than the other ones um, for like the singularities, like in the mobile game. Yeah. Um, so this one has like a chance with 21 episodes. I think they should be able to cover it. Yeah. Well, because, because Camelot, I think they're doing a trilogy for that, for the movies. And that's, that's like, a, and that's one with Saber, right? That's what, King Arthur or a Saber, yeah. Okay. I assume so because it's Camelot. Yeah. I don't know anything about the game, but but like you know, a movie is like is is usually like I think a movie usually covers like three or four episodes of an anime. Who's who's doing that? It's not Ufotable, is it? No, it's Ufotable. Oh really? Yeah, they're doing. Huh. Or no, 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 never mind. No, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. It's uh, the same studio who's doing Grand What's Order. That? I think it's Cloverwick still. Okay, that's fine. I, I, yeah, so, I enjoyed their so animation. Cloverworks is doing the, yeah. So after Babylonia, they're doing Camelot. But I'm okay I, with that. But I think I think they're doing yeah a trilogy. So like so I assume I think that maybe maybe that's why they did the series first. So they they want the long one out of the way, and then then they can get like the movies for Camelot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I got nothing else. Uh, I mean, half the episode was basically just fighting, um, and then just, like, the other first part was just walking around enjoying life. <laughs> I, just, I still like don't feel like much has happened in like in in this world. Like they went to like I don't know. I just yeah, that's mobile games. Like, for you. I want like more explanations of like what's going on. Just, no, yeah, there's like mobile so game. much. There's just so much filler. Like of the the RPG like fetch quest. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the games. It's definitely like where. Uh, <clears throat> where they you end up seeing like the main bad guys i don't know how many times throughout the throughout like the the arc or the uh in this in this uh situation the um the singularity and uh we'll we'll probably end up seeing uh in keto at least like another time before like like the, the final um uh fight so it'll it'll probably still be a little bit annoying because a lot of times they always just fight and then they just say like, oh, and then they just retreat. Even that time they're like, why the hell did I retreat? It's like, I don't know, man. Why did you? <laughs> I just, I'm just tired of seeing MASH like always losing. Like, like yeah. Uh, give her a power up or something or have more like team based fights with like Merlin and Anna. And- like in the game. Three, like uh, <laughs> three, uh, three person groups. Yeah. But I mean, I got really nothing. I mean, I'm still like, I'm still enjoying the show. I, I want to know kind of like just more about like what's going on. Like you said before, the uh, the goddesses still no clue who they are, what they do, besides the Rin looking one. I don't know. I guess I guess maybe I was just like expecting more from Fake Rain because there's all the hype of the mobile game. <laughs> I think yeah. it's just like yeah, I just I I think I just feel so disconnected to the world. Yeah, I think it's more just like fate. They're just they're just throwing money, like, please make this an anime. And then uh, they say, yeah, they sure. should have, they should have just done the, every single singularity. They, they had they had the money for it. Yeah, I, I still do think they could make a like a, if they even if they wanted they to make, like a long running shonen. They made um, billions of dollars from this mobile game. They had enough money to animate yeah. the whole thing. Just get the black black clover studio, and I'm pretty sure it'll be basically cheap or free. <clears throat> just have awful animation until the fights, and then you're good. The the or the, the legitimate fights, not like just like where you're you're facing like uh like the third line of main care of uh like bad guy characters where they just they don't even matter 
But that's I think that's all I got. Yeah. So we're in it there for now for our fake grand order. We're gonna move on to Villain Saga. Um, Brian, are you caught up with the show? Yes, I am. All right. So so we're just gonna be me and Brian for this section. Um. Uh, <laughs> Dude, how badass was Asla, like, taking on, like, all this yo, men man. trade him? I was like, yo, this this man's Roman's blood is taking over, and he's whooping all these dudes' asses. I was like, yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> it literally he's... makes that guy, that character, even more badass. Than I'm like, was not, I'm, it, was Ron, it wasn't Roman. He's, he's half Welsh. Wait, isn't he part Roman, though? He has descent of, like, the royal Roman blood, doesn't he? No, that's like, um... I swear to God. I... He's... Hmm. Because, like... No, because the the Roman state, they they conquered like England, but then they left, um, and then after that, it was co- it was conquered by the Anglo Saxons, but I think the the Welsh are like are separate from them, so I, I think I don't think the Romans ever made it to Welsh. I think the, the Romans only ever made it to England. I don't know. Anyways, that he's just whooping all these dudes' asses. He's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Like when he's for the last like, decade, I've been traveling with y'all, but now it's time to whoop all y'all asses. Like, like when he when he cut that guy's helmet in half and just cut the body vertically in half. Yeah, that's like, bro, that you require actually a lot of fucking force for that shit. It's like <laughs> everyone's like, wait, yo, did you see that? That shit was insane. Who is this man? And then like yeah. before he starts fighting, he's like, I know we've been together for a long time. But I just want to say, I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> You're just. Sons of a bitches, like Danes. Oh, that was great. I love that shit. So, I'm like, excited for the next episode, though. Because um, I think, like, because um, when they were traveling in the Welsh territory, he was like saying how he he hates Danes. Yep. And, like, and me and Taylor, like, she was was saying like whether or not that if he really believed that, and I I said that like I think he believes he really hates the Danes. And this episode pretty much like proved like yeah, showed it. This man doesn't give. Zero, he actually gives zero fucks about these people. He's like, you know, come if you want, but y'all actually annoying. <laughs> it was and great, course, dude. Like, and of course, like, I think I think Asad was the one who was telling them, like, if or someone was saying that, like, if you like, if you try to um, go over to Thorkill, he's just gonna kill you. So. Yeah, he was like, if you guys really want to, you guys should just bathe your asses in the river water and wait for Oh, him. no, no, I think it was before, too, when they're in the village. Yeah, okay, I think it was when they when they just found out that uh that the, the army is marching and some people were worried uh, uh they're getting tired of marching Aslat said you know you can always stay here and wait for them but they're just gonna slaughter you anyways so yeah. come with me or you can stay here or come with me yeah so basically someone just everyone just got fucked over <laughs> like the whole crew is dead besides Aslad, Bjorn, and Tornfin. Yeah, I can't wait for the next episode though. The next, next episode, episode next week's on highest, by the way. Aw, thanks, David. You actually just destroyed my soul. <laughs> <laughs> this, I think I'm actually like, just like, fucking depressed now. Oh. I think it's like another sports tournament airing, so that to delay the episode. It's, it's crazy how many shows are being delayed just because of uh, events that are going on right now. Wait, what event? There's like some sort of sports think, stuff. Like, whatever channel this is airing on, like like is like a sporting event is going on next week, so they're just got they're taking the time the time slot for Vinland Saga. Oh. Rip I forgot that they that these shows are showcased on TV over there. Yep. <laughs> but so you have to wait two weeks for the cliffhanger ending. Uh. For Thornfin versus Thorkill. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be so hype. Do you actually think like they're gonna fight to the death or something no. gonna interrupt them? Ab- no, they're absolutely not. I don't think they'll they'll do a character like Thorkill like that. Like there's no way that giant man of a man is gonna be dying to this little dude. Like there's <laughs> zero chance he's winning. Like Thorfinn has absolutely zero chance of winning. This dude came and beat Askeladd now. What the fuck makes you think he's gonna beat Thor Thorkill? <laughs> like absolutely zero chance, dude. Would you guys be sad if Thorkell would die? Yes. Is he yeah. Out I, I, I was he, like, he, yeah. I would be like, yo, what kind of power scaling is this? So the show is making you think like, oh, there's no way. I feel like he's going to die. <laughs> like, actually, if I've known any depressing shows, that's what's happened. There's well, no way this Thor- dude's Thorkell's dying. The, he's the, he's like, not the villain, but he's like, he's the one fighting against the main character. 
Yeah, so Thorkel is like a big dude that's facing Thor. Thorfinn is technically the MC. Thorkel is just a guy that he's facing. Oh, okay. Also, we need a continuation of Bjorn after he eats that fucking mushroom. That's, uh... <laughs> that dude just goes ape shit. He's like, he's like he's I wonder if he's gonna attack the prince, dude. That'd be oh, funny. He's gonna be, like, like, be tripping so hard from that mushroom and it's just like murdering everyone. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna beat the prince's ass too. So is the mushroom like a power up? Yeah. I don't know why it's like like so a Mario. Because like, I don't. They did something similar, like with uh, I think it was like the first, the first episode or the third episode when, when yeah. They, so he eats this dad. mushroom and he like pretty much loses all sanity and just wants to beat the living hell out of his oh, shit. Oh damn! Goes straight so, like, straight up berserker. Yeah, it's like a legitimate berserk mode, and it's like he doesn't know who's who. He just beats up whoever the fucks around him. So damn, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty old. It's, it's, like... it's crazy to see that mushroom again because yeah, we just saw that episode like three and four when Thornton was just just like a little kid, and like and then after that, like he's just been calm like ever since, and now like yeah, now he's he's finally bringing out the mushroom again. Yeah, dude, Cr- drugs, man, they do some shit. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they, they drugs be actually doing some shit. That's why steroids and test boosters are banned in like most sports. It's like, yo, these motherfuckers are actually be killing people. They on this shit. Could so you imagine like the Vikings day? Yeah, could you imagine like the NFL? If everybody was on steroids, people would actually be dying. Yeah, you'd basically you'd be seeing deaths on the field. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> drugs be some crazy shit. And yep. if it's just a mushroom, I want to know where that mushroom's at. <laughs> That's a real mushroom, dude. If it's even let, me get, a real thing. let me get some of that shit. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, that was I, I, the show crazy episode. Still, yeah. yeah. So much, so many people are dying. I'm like, damn, this dude's getting betrayed. They're <laughs> yeah, playing because... a coop against this guy. It's literally like three against like 50, and then another dude comes in, literally throwing a spear and one goal, killing like four people. It's like, yo, this dude needs to join the Olympics whenever it's up. Crazy. It's those. <sighs> This was a crazy episode, and it sucks that like it, it uh, left on such a cliffhanger, and it's it, the episode's delayed till two weeks. Yep, sad times. <laughs> and so I think that's it for Vinland Saga. So um, next up, it's where it's gonna be Kimono Michi for Australian. Rise up! So, yep, rise up! I can't forget that. Oh no, you cannot. Most <laughs> definitely cannot. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna pass it over to Australian Ku and they're just gonna talk about their favorite wrestling anime. Oh yeah. Hell yes. Uh yeah, so for this episode, kind of just to recap, um they kind of did a uh, uh backtrack to the rival. In the very first episode, they kinda <laughs> highlighted what was going on, right? Genzo the MC was gonna fight uh Mal, which was the, the guy he was fighting in the ring for the final championship match. And then in this match, uh, when Genzo was about to jump and pin Mao, uh, he actually disappeared and got summoned to this world. Well, in this episode, they kind of highlight what happens to Mao afterwards, right? So apparently, uh, the MC was the only guy that Mao could never beat. And then uh, ever since he left, he hasn't found any interest to keep wrestling. He ends up getting depression, developed this thing called animal mask syndrome because he missed <laughs> the guy so much. And then, and then uh, at the end of the episode, he gets summoned to uh, the same world that the MC went to, but as a demon king rather than a hero. Uh, so that was pretty much the episode, but it was actually pretty funny, right? It was just really weird. <laughs> out of place, but I, th- I think it was very enjoyable. I think that's the first time I've ever like seen the introduction of another character that I didn't really care much for, but it was actually enjoyable. <laughs> like, towards the end where it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, I'm going to probably care about this guy. Right. <clears throat> but so, yeah, the, the whole way about it, like the whole the whole way that they, they went about it, it was hilarious. It was awesome. Yeah. What happened with the main guy? Did they do anything? I can't remember if they... Yeah, yeah did so, they focus him? Or they focused on him at some point? They did like once or twice, but only because they mentioned him. But he was like too busy taking care of a, a pet or something. Yeah, like so a, like or, uh, yeah, yeah. he wasn't really doing anything. <laughs> he was just like taking care of his pet and doing his. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what the f- what the heck he was doing. But he was just like watching his new pet, and then whenever they would mention him, they would just like showcase his face, and then they'll just pan back to uh, to Mao. So 
was uh was this the episode where uh he he went back over to those people's uh house and to to fight that one guy because he tried to steal his like little dog? Was it this episode or last week? I think it was last week. Last week, okay, never mind. I can't remember which one it was. Mm. But, uh, I, mean, I, I really don't have too much more to say about that. Yeah, it was pretty much just the introduction of his rival, really. It was one of the yeah. interesting other than that. But I mean, like I said, the way they introduced him was pretty well done, I thought. Yeah. I wonder if the I feel like it's gonna end up being like the same way where he gets uh summoned to well maybe not the same way where he gets summoned to like the like the evil side as like the the demon lord but mm-hmm. then if he's just gonna start drop kicking people there too <laughs> like not having any idea what's going on but then again he doesn't really I don't think he he does not seem like the type that enjoys being in the company of animals as much as our our main character yeah and he doesn't really seem to have like a like a niche either right like other than his love or desire to fight animal mask and like finally take his title back or whatever mm-hmm. he doesn't really seem to be anything too interesting going on about him so yeah it really seems like his only motivation in life right now mm-hmm. uh but yeah i mean that's it we can start talking about uh Ori Suki. Ori Suki? yep yeah so that one um what's it i'm trying to remember what happened i remember i remember um Let's see when she started, or when the, the episode started. Uh, the story, the story ends up getting out of uh, that the uh, what's her what's her name the the journalism the journalist girl Asunara. Um, yep, basically they make it, they make it look like the story it was an accident. They ended up getting out accidentally, and then the girls running around to make it seem like oh like I'll I'll fix this I'll pick up all of them like from everybody. Uh, by myself, and then uh, towards like throughout the episode, you then um, uh, oh yeah, he gets he gets picked for um, being was it like I, I don't know what the title of it was. I just think of it as like prom king, <laughs> like prom king with like three queens, mm-hmm. uh, where it's just like uh, some uh, fall festival. Is it fall festival or just a festival? Uh, I forget what it was called, but it's basically like a there's like a campfire at the end, right? And then yeah. at the campfire, he's the the guy that's chosen is going to dance with three girls, uh, one at a time. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, so the the whole thing was um, uh, the club president and his uh, was it his childhood friend were two of ones that were picked. Yep. And the, okay, and so and then uh, the journalist girl was just like, okay, well, you know, prove it to me that you're not like a creep and you're not like actually like uh, trying to get with all these girls. So she ends up just stalking and following him and like through daily life. And then, then um, just going to like all the, like the dance practices between like with the, the other group or the other friends. Mm-hmm. And then that's when you find out that once that happens then the story gets out and um, she's trying to fix everything. But then uh, it just, uh, towards the end of the episode, it just makes you think like she had this all planned along because none of the other friend or his friends would uh, practice dancing. And then they all just like came up with the thoughts of just like, we should all just stay away from each other for now. Just so like the story doesn't become real. Mm-hmm. Or true, and then uh, then uh, the journalist girl steps in to uh, help him with dancing, and then at the end it just shows like a uh, class class president that um, it seemed like that was, you know, like something was up and it was all kind of planned by the journalist girl. Yeah, so that's what it made it seem like, and I'm sure that's kind of what it's going on, right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, and not this last episode, but the episode before that, they kind of highlighted that she had like a scheme going yeah. when she printed out the news story in the first place. And from the looks of it, maybe she has like a thing for the guy, for the MC. So that's why she did all this to, it, looking like, yeah. to, to get him all by herself. Um, but I kind of like a lot of the, the references because they seem to be breaking the fourth wall quite a bit here, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Bench Coon came back, right? And whenever yeah. you see Bench Coon, you know something's going to happen. Gonna die. Yeah. And then <laughs> apparently, apparently with Bench, uh, the Bench, there's also um, like a relapse back to like the, the, the baseball game. PTSD, yeah, that's yeah. It. <laughs> and then it just, you just you hear that 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 knocking of the bat, hitting the ball whenever they they talk about it, and they bring out the bench. And then uh, I don't know if you ever watch um, Kaiji. Uh no, I don't think I did. Yeah, so th- it's kind of like an older uh, owner anime where it's about like gambling, and this this guy that's like always in like a weird like a really effed up predicament where he needs to like gamble to make a, a crap ton of money to get himself out, out of a situation. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I, I know the, yeah. Uh, Sasha actually watched that and he, he enjoyed the first season, I think second season, yeah. not so much. Yeah. Second season was that great. Uh, but yeah. But well, this one, when the bench came up, like his face changed into Kaiji, right. 
Yeah, but then, you know, right. yeah. <laughs> and they're making references based on that too. So I thought that was pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice uh, add on. Uh, and then um, I don't know, like the the story seems to be going fairly well. It's transitioning pretty smoothly to uh, throughout the arc. Um, yeah. But it sounds like like it's not just Pansy that's um, like that's working on the background, but the student president as well. So yeah. it'll be kind of interesting to see if they're working together to figure out what's going on, or if the student president's going to do her thing, and then Pansy's doing like another thing, like that's even bigger mm-hmm. behind the scenes. So yeah, uh, I found it kind of weird that Pansy didn't really do anything when um, uh, that article got released. Yeah, it's like she's kind of just sitting back and just like either watching, waiting, or she kind of already knows what's going to happen. Right. That's what it just seems like. What her character is uh, mm-hmm. so far. Uh, but I think uh, this this season or not season this arc compared to the last arc, I do think the previous arc was uh, a lot stronger mm-hmm. so far. Uh, at least at this point, like in the arc. Here, mm-hmm. I don't really know what's. I, I don't really know what's going to happen because like at the the first arc, they're like when the first like he was about to get in trouble with like everybody. I was mm-hmm. thinking, like, oh damn! Like, is this actually going to be like a serious show? And then, like, at the end of the that the next episode ended up being just like where they kind of just laughed it off in a way. And I thought, okay, this is just going to be a rom com, no, mm-hmm. no, no drama. And this one, I'm like, uh, this one, it's I feel like there could be more drama than actually like a uh, you know comedy mm-hmm. or romance. But then there's a, at, at the same time there's actually another girl that seems to like the MC uh, besides just Pansy. Mm-hmm. And it makes you wonder if they're going to like, like, uh, trace it back to that baseball game, right? Maybe, yeah, because oh, they, they did, they did, <laughs> they did in the beginning, right? When she yep. was trying to like, uh, like tell the guy, hey, like I know you're a pervert. I was there at the baseball game when you were looking up at this pretty girl. You had this perverted look in your eyes. It's yeah. like everything is drawing <laughs> back to this baseball game. So yep. I feel like that's just the premise of the whole, the, the whole, whole show, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's just gonna keep going back to that and the bench. Yeah. Because even like in the opening, there's still there's still a lot of uh, characters that they haven't even like introduced yet. Yeah, which um, is only like halfway there, right? Yeah, it, it's weird because they're already. I mean, they're at. Uh, they're. I mean, they're basically halfway in the the season. Hmm. I so. mean, I guess. I mean, what what the guy's ultimate goal is to have like the the ultimate harem. So yeah, it's, he's slowly building yeah. it up. It's, it's, it's working. Now, now he's got the ponytail girl. So yep. <laughs> now how much will it actually work into? Yeah, I don't think it's ever gonna work. Like the way nope. I see it is never. like, like uh, the library chick knows what what Jaro is into, so mm-hmm. she's just like slowly giving him a taste of what he wants, and then <laughs> she's gonna like break him down and like have him uh, be in constant need of her to to get everything straight and back to normal. So yeah, I feel like that's how it is. But yeah, I just gotta say, library girl, she's pretty hot. So I, I have no problems with with them ending yeah. up together. Yeah. Yeah, so far, I mean, she's, uh, I think she's number one for her. And then number two would be class president. See, I don't know. Class president's kind of annoying with the whole samurai uh, personality. Oh, that, yeah, that part was annoying. Well, that yeah. was just like, it's just basically, it's like anything that's not her, of like, uh, that's uh, um, anything that's like not like her plan. It just seems like that's her, her default. Like she has no clue what she's doing. She's just following what she's told to do. Yeah, right. I and mean, then for yeah. some reason, she goes back to that. I, I don't know why. But, yeah, uh, this, it's really weird. But yeah. But I do, nice. yeah. But I, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy her more than the childhood friend. Basically, she just shows up, like just hits the dude, and then that's about it. Yeah, I feel like she's mainly just fan service at this point, right? Whenever she goes up and hugs him, just puts the breast against the dude, and then he just like, yeah, yeah, just that's falls true. over. Yeah, yeah. So. And he lets it happen, and even like thinking, oh god, not this again. But he's like yeah. loving it at the same like, time. This bitch. Oh fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> yep. 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 That's basically. Oh. Uh, but I mean, the next couple episodes looks like it's going to be pretty uh, intense. I guess uh, pretty uh-huh. dramatic. Uh, I'm sh- sure. I'm, I'm sure the next episode is going to be all about the the president trying to fix everything, and then the episode after that is is the library girl uh, yeah. kind of sort everything out perfectly. So yeah, yeah. I was going to say, in a way, I feel like she already knows like everything that's planned and everything's going to work out perfect. So right. At least that's what we've like come to believe in the show so far. Uh-huh. So I'm not too worried about too much drama. Or it might just seem for like the moment, but then it'll pass fairly quickly, mm-hmm. I would assume. But then the final arc of the the anime, who knows? It always just kind of seems like you know, when it just with these shows like progress, it just gets more and more dramatic, or they try to find places for it at least. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's all I got though. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's it. It's just we're just kind of 
waiting for the cliffhanger and see what what uh, what comes of uh, um, the the journalist plan. Yeah. All right. So it looks like we're just going over there. So that's that's all the shows we have for today. Um, I don't know. Like, oh, we'll get uh, we'll get My Hero Academia back next week, and then we have um, uh, Peter and Sasha again. We'll we'll get another episode of One Piece, so we'll get that as well. We'll have to get Peter's thoughts on Sword Art too, because he was uh, he was one of the the big fans of Sword Art Online. Was when he? All, I didn't even realize when that. all these things happened. Yeah, that was one of the the few shows I remember him saying like way back that he was he was not uh, wanting to read because he wanted to watch it because it was one of those shows. And then before the before we actually started this podcast, he mentioned about how it's so bad. I'm like, ho ho, okay. <laughs> and uh, he did not. He was not able to make it back for the for Sword Art. So, unfortunately, well, yeah. So we'll have to ask his uh, has for his thoughts for next week. Overall, I think this has been a pretty enjoyable season so far. For you know, yeah, I think there's way too much shows. Like honestly, I'm watching. Yeah. I think Monday and Sunday is like my only dead days. Every other day is like two or three. A anime shows i have to watch yeah my day let's see my days i think it's uh my wednesdays for some reason are actually loaded to my my wednesdays fridays and saturdays for shows well no we, we're got we're got it here for now okay okay so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna right. here for now and we'll see you uh guys next week so uh so until then bye see you guys Bye-bye. bye thanks for joining